looks janky as fuck. That lost cat. You should down. probably repair that. Probably. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, oh uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Bigby, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly asked you not to. It's the broker. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. But you didn't try hard enough. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. You are no help. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me. So they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just, well, you never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Someone's Which one down. was it? Okay. Go be a creep and listen.
Should I go in this one? to these rooms I thought you had a key not to this one hold on Big B I can't just let you go into any room you want seriously what if someone found out I could get into a lot of trouble you have to let me in there this is the room 207 but I... this is the room Lily was in oh, fine well that's weird this key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Uh -oh. Oh. Be? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! I know what goes on! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! Oh, what the shit. fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! Ah! Hey! Faster! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You said you saw her that night. I should have fucking known. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and. Beast! Ooh! Ah! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! <laughs> She's my wife, Big B! That's cute! I told you! Stop! Oh fuck. Please. Leave it be. This is my fault. Please don't. I don't understand. Oh crap. Please don't kill me. Oh god. this? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see Damn. this. Shit. Shit. What is it? Oh! Oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. So why were I mean, you look, here then? Can we please not talk about this? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just 
Do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. All right. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. What is that? It's a book Creepy. about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I don't know. Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. He goes right along with cutting off people's heads. So classy. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. <sighs> hmm. Oh, that's creepy. rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? <laughs> this is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it. To recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Uh... I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this. Please, just do whatever you need to do and let's get out of here. Okay, what else is there? Maybe she didn't see it coming. Oh, come on, this is creepy. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Damn it, get it together, beauty. Be strong. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? 
I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Alright, well, what else is there? I don't see anything. Oh, apple. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? <laughs> it's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Okay. Creepy. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Whoa! He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Dang. Shit just got real. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Dang. Jesus that so great. Christ, Big B. Is that you? Damn. That was a short episode, though. Alright, um... Yeah, see, it's hard to be the bad guy, even though Wolf already is kind of a bad guy in the game. You just don't want to make it worse. But I always try to play the good guy in games. Yeah. Georgie Porgy didn't hit him, even though I really wanted to. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have hit him a second time. Seemed like the right thing to do. Cool. Well, I'm excited for episode 3 when that comes out. Should be good. Well, thanks for watching. This was episode 2 of The Wolf Among Us. I'll see you after your game over.